so I haven't done a vlog in a little while, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Um, probably vlogging is going to be the easiest way for me to put up um, additional videos. Um, now that I'm going to be starting school back again, um, I'm going to be limited to the time that I have at home. So this is the perfect time just to vlog about things and talk about different things that I would love to talk about or want to talk about, whatever. So, um, driving to work, obviously, I had to be careful. Pay attention to the road, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not wearing my scrubs today. Look, I'm wearing a leather jacket in Miami. Yep, it's 52 degrees and it's flipping freezing. To me, that's freezing. I'm so cold. Last night, oh my God, I was so, so cold. I was outside and I was like, I just want to go inside. I just want to go inside. I was at my son's school. Um, so I had a jacket on like, um, almost like one of those, I don't even know, it's a jacket. I don't know, the sweater jacket things with the hoodie on it, those kind of jackets. I had one of those on and I was still cold. It was so cold outside last night. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I don't have to wear my scrubs today because I get to go to a deposition. Yay! I hate going to depositions. I hate them, I hate them. It's part of work, what can I do? Um, when you work in the industry that I work in, um, people are so happy all the time. So, you know, it's just what it is. You know, I deal with the lawyers on a day-to-day -day basis, unfortunately. But, whatever. People love to sue the health, people in the healthcare field. Um, anyhow, um, so I'm still doing the um, 30, Insanity Max 30. Um, I'm not consistent like I was with the 21 day fix. The 21 day fix, I did it every single day that is said to do it for 21 days. The Insanity Max 30 is only five days a week, but between the school and then my kids um, starting to get into different activities, um, I'm just, I just can't commit all the days. Sometimes things come up, like for instance, last night, my son had something to do and I didn't get home till almost eight o'clock last night. So, and after that, my other half, somehow in the morning, left a Diet Coke in the freezer and it exploded, obviously, because it was in there all day long. And so I had to clean that up. So by the time I was done cleaning that up, it was late didn't want to cook any dinner. We had pizza, boo-hoo, because pizza's not a good thing to have. And um, yeah, so yesterday was just a flop all, over, all the way around. And then I forgot, um, I forgot to print out the information of where I'm supposed to go for my deposition today. So that sucks. And the guy that I'm supposed to, um, have go with me. I was supposed to give it to him yesterday and I forgot also. And I'm running late because I went to go leave to go and I left my phone at home. So I had to turn around, go back home to pick up my phone, which I'm vlogging on right now. So it's just been a morning of jumbles and fumbles and it's just not been a good morning. I'm just late all the way around. And then I don't have like I don't have an extensive wardrobe. I don't because I don't dress up. I'm, I mean, I love to be a girly girl. I do. I just don't have girly girl clothes and and um, outfits and put them together and this and that. Like I might have a cute pair of slacks that I can wear, like to this deposition. And the top that I'm wearing is this is actually one of those tops that I had. It was in um, my first twice haul. If you go and look back. Um, I had this really, really pretty top that I wanted to wear and I couldn't because I was like a sausage in there. It was so, whatever. This is before I did the 21 day fix. And um, so it's see-through, but I'm wearing like a black tank top underneath it. And so that's the top that I'm wearing. I love this top so much. It's so cute. I, I can't even show you because I'm driving and whatever. Um, but, um, so I'm wearing that. So I have a cute top and then I wasn't sure about the slacks and then shoes, forget it. I'm not a shoe person. So I just have like random shoes. I was gonna wear these other sh black shoes. Like I have to wear um, heels that have a thick heel on it because if not, I will fall and break my face. Um, so I have one from aerosols, which are like the comfort kind of shoes, which I'm wearing, am I wearing those? No, I'm not wearing those. Those are the ones that I wanted to wear and they were closed toe. 
Um, being in the field that I am, I encourage everybody in my job to always wear closed toe shoes, even if they're in administration or if they're in the business office or in social work, uh, social services, whatever it is, that is a big, big deal to me. That's like my biggest pet peeve is for people to, to wear open toe shoes at work. I'm, I'm like, uh, uh, you gotta go. You can't be wearing no open toe shoes here. Go home. You know, that's what I want to say. But, um, and especially in nursing, that's an absolute no-no. They cannot wear sandals, they cannot wear open toe shoes because in nursing, you know, you could drop needles, you can, whatever. You're you're in there with patients and stuff. You ain't got no business going into a patient's room with open toe shoes and sandals. It's just not professional, number one. And number two, it's, you know, it's a hazard. Um, okay, enough. <laughs> I sound like I'm giving an in-service at work. Oh my God, how stupid. Okay, um, shoes, that's what I was talking about. Get lost in shoes. Um, so the shoes that I wanted to wear, they were like the aerosols, which are super comfortable and they were closed toe shoes. I could only find one. And it's not like I got 50 pairs of shoes and I, I was looking all over and I have one flipping shoe and I was like, well, where's the other shoe? I couldn't find it for nothing. I don't know. So I ended up wearing these other shoes. These are, they're not aerosols, but they're like them. They're comfortable and comfortable, comfortable, <laughs> comfortable. How are you supposed to say that? Comfortable? I say comfortable. And then I just said comfortable. That just sounded whatever. Okay, moving on. Um, so these are comfortable too, but they're open toed shoes. No, no, Annette. You're not supposed to wear open toed shoes to work. So I did bring my other pair of shoes to wear around at work, which are these cute, cute little slip on ballet slippers type of shoes to wear. Um, but, I don't know. I just went on and on about a pair of shoes. So dumb. Anyway, um, so, hey, has have any of you ever been to a deposition? Hmm? How'd it go? Was it because of something you did or somebody else did? I'm curious. Were you super nervous? Did you not care? Were you respectful or disrespectful? Whatever. So, um... Yeah, when I met with our attorney the other day, he's so funny. Oh, I better not even talk about it. Let me skip on because that's like work stuff. Let me not even talk about it. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so school. Yeah, I want to get my RN. I've been trying to do this now. I know how long I've been trying to do this for, nine years. And I do a class and then I don't do a class and then I do a class and then I don't do a class and it's just taking forever. I just need to get it done. Nine years is ridiculous. I could be like a freaking attorney myself or a doctor or something like that and I'm still a nurse. Um, I need to get my RN. I've been in the field for almost 20 years now and I see people that get their licenses, RNs, and how do they freaking take the board when they barely speak any English and let alone write it? That pisses me off so bad, you have no idea. I'm like, with the experience that I've had and the many years that I've been doing it, you know, I feel like they should give nurses that have been LPNs, that have been nurses for as long as I have, the ability to challenge the board and take the exam without having to go through all the schooling. I mean, I know all about the care plans and the rationales and all that stuff, through 20 years of nursing, you learn all that stuff. It's, you know, it, and just to have to go through the motions, it's like, you know how much school costs for nursing? And this is without doing prerequisites or anything like that. There's some that are $20,000 and those are like the hole in the wall schools that those are the people that come out of nursing school that don't speak hardly any English. And then there's, legitimate schools that are like 50 grand, $85,000. Who can pay for that? I'll be paying for that for the rest of my life. It's not like I'm 20 years old. I'm almost 40 years old. So that's 20 years ago. Maybe that was okay. But 20 years into it, I have a huge mortgage. You know, um, I have three kids. Who wants to spend $85,000, you know, paying back school loans? God, that sucks. I don't know. If I could just win the lotto, I think I would still go to school and get my RN just because, just to say that I had it, 
I would go to school full time. That would be great if I could go to school full time and not have to work. I would so do it, but I can't, you know. I have to work. I got a mortgage to pay. I got kids to feed. I got things to do. My kids got activities that they would love to do. I want to give them whatever we can give them, buy them the things that they want. I mean, as an LPN, I'm on the higher range of um, the pay aspect, but I'm limited to how much. I mean, how much are they going to pay an LPN? I mean, I get paid probably more than some RNs, um, but I've been doing it for so long and I'm in management position. Um, I'm a risk manager, so whatever. Um, whatever. Uh, school is just, you know, it's going to be really hard for me. I'm not a school person. I don't enjoy school. I don't enjoy any of it. Um, I'm not a, like, for me, I have to be in a classroom and I got to listen and I got to see what they're writing and show the diagrams. I got to see all that stuff. I got to be able to ask my questions. Home study is just not easy for me because I interpret things, everybody interprets things their own ways and, and they, they get it into their head their own ways. For me, like I ask lots of questions so that it makes sense to me because my mind is complicated. Face it, it's just complicated. Sorry. Um, so, for my mind to get it, to understand it, I have to ask questions and I have to have them give me like rationales for different things. Like why, why, why? I'm like a five-year-old, why? Oh, okay, okay, now that makes sense. Okay, I got it. That's just how my mind works. My other half, you know, we're on the same boat. We're going to be doing it together. Um, he could read it and just soak it in and he's done. It doesn't work like that for me. My mind doesn't work so simple like that. It's very complicated up there. So, I don't know. Wish me luck. I'm going to be doing sociology now. That's going to be the first one. I only need three more prerequisites to get into the nursing program. So, I need to do those three. And then after that, you know, I'll apply. I'll decide what I want to do. If I want to do it home study or if I'm gonna go somewhere and do it. I, I know for me, the best thing for me is to go somewhere and do it. I just I just know it, but it costs so flippin' much. I mean, it's a lot less to do it at home. It's like $15,000 less, 10, $15,000 less to do it at home. But am I gonna be able to do it is the question. I don't know, we'll see. Well, it's already at 12 minutes, and this is on my camera, I mean on my phone, and it's a little vlog, and I have, probably am running out of memory, so I better cut it off now. Um, but thank you guys for listening and watching and um, listening to my private talk today, because I guess I don't, when I vlog, I vlog about other things, but not so much personal things, I guess, huh? If you want to hear more, leave me some topics or something down below. And um, I'll see you again in another video. Bye.